Hey guys, figured I'd make this little video for you to show you my necromancer uh, and what we're doing, okay? So if you come in here, you look at my base damage, it's 910,000. Uh, my rhyme heart has 2,500 uh, DPS on it, um, along with, uh, I mean, look at the stats there. Uh, these are my Rathmus braces. Um, I've rolled them to have higher critical hit chance. Uh, my shoulder spikes, uh, I really want to get ancient. Uh, Heart of Iron has been really helpful because I use uh, some skills that abuse thorns. Uh, Mask of the Scarlet Death, uh, Ancient Legendary, love it. 6% uh, chance to critical hit. Um, and then I threw some life on there because my survivability was a little low. Uh, Ouroboros, uh, honestly just because it's the most powerful one I have right now. Promise of Glory, uh, I use it because of the cold skill damage and the fact that it rolled uh, Ancient. It, it's got pretty high stats, lost time, cold, cold skills ties into my legendary gems. Uh, like this one, you know, it's just the pet damage and uh, the damage they take. Uh, this legendary de gem is going to increase my damage against enemies or under control pairing effects, which is pretty important with that because all of my cold skills, which all of them are, affect it. Uh, then I have more thorns damage, um, which is pretty great. Uh, I will replace the Justin Lantern eventually with something that doesn't give me a useless stat. Uh, Rathmus Sabaton, still need better one of those. Uh, I need to roll Death Nova into something else. Also, it doesn't have any speed improvement, which I don't like. Uh, Witching Hour uh, for the attack speed and critical hit damage. Um, and you've already seen that. So here are my skills. Uh, I have Bone Spikes, uh, Frost Spikes going. I have Skeleton Archers. Uh, I have Revive and totally forgot to give it a uh, stat. So I'm giving it Recklessness so it can benefit from my cold damage. Uh, then I have my Freezing Grass Skeletons and my Cold Golem. For powers, I have Hack, uh, which is going to give me 100% Thorns for damage on every attack. Uh, also, Frostburn, Cold Skills apply 20%, increased damage and have a 50% chance to freeze, uh, which is pretty important when you take into effect my weapon. Uh, it has a chance to do 10,000% weapon damage uh, against enemies that are frozen, so they're always frozen. Um, also my golem pants, man, they increase my, uh, or decrease the damage, I take by 30%, uh, my other skills give me another 25%, so let's go into this, uh, Torment 7 Rift, and just give you, I don't know, a Prove two minute view of what I do with this team, um, I also use frailty. Can't forget to start summoning my skeletons. Uh, when I'm standing in the Oculus uh, bubble here, I get another 78% damage. Um, so really, it doesn't mean much until we hit an elite group, honestly. So let's go ahead and get to another one. Um, doo -doo -doo. And it's dead already. Do do, grab my stuff. I'm getting struggled. Do do, see, I'm standing right in the middle of everything and because of my damage reduction, it's not doing much. I need essence. Now I'm gonna show you the one last feature of this build. Uh, I've almost got them up to 10. Uh, gotta get a bigger group to be able to get my 10 skeleton archers. I need essence. Uh, but they're increasing my attack speed. Uh, so if you look, uh, after I'm all buffed, it's 1,092,000 uh, DPS. Uh, Alright, that's about all I got to show you guys. Um, the next one I'll do will be my ridiculously uh, OP... Witch Doctor. Alright.